Hello YouTube, this is Trader Yu-Gi-Oh! And today I want to discuss something a lot of people online have been complaining about today. And that is how card prices are affected by what one or two people say. Like, the recent example is Corey McDuffie commented on Facebook saying he was going to play Infernoids at YCS. And since then, correlation, not necessarily causation, the card Infernoid Harmedic, at least I believe that's how it's pronounced, I don't really know, or even care, but that card has gone from being a $15 card to a $10 card back up to a $30 card, and a lot of people are blaming Corey and saying that it's unfair that Corey has that much effect, and people are also complaining that Yu-Gi-Oh players are sheep and follow whatever the pro players say, and I don't think that's necessarily a fair accusation, I mean... People like Corey McDuffie and Patrick Hoban and whoever you look up to in this game, personally I look up to Patrick Hoban a lot, but those players are what you would consider experts. And as with any field, you're going to look to the experts for advice on what to do and what to play. For example, if you don't have that much time to dedicate to researching cards, discovering combos, and testing things for yourself, you look up to what experts think and what's been proven, and you use that to base what you play on. And maybe with that attitude, you won't come up with the next big tech card or the next big meta deck, or maybe you won't top a YCS, but most players that I know of are not in this game to top a YCS. They go to locals, and they play at locals, and maybe they play in a few regionals just because it's something to do. So I don't think it's necessarily fair to say that these players are sheep or stupid or dumb or any other insult you can come up with just because they respect experts' opinions on what's good and what they should play. Does it suck that they have that much influence on card prices? Yeah, kind of, if you're trying to get those cards. But if you want to build Infernities anyway, don't really wait for someone else to just go out and get the Infernity cards at whatever price they're at or whatever price you're willing to pay for them at the time. And if they go up then, and no one wants to trade them to you, then that sucks. But that's just the way Yu-Gi-Oh! is. That's the way Yu-Gi-Oh! always has been. It's the way Yu-Gi-Oh! probably always will be. So if you have such a problem with that, you should probably just find another hobby. And that also sucks to say, but some there are good downsides and upsides to playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And that's just one of the downsides and something that you're going to have to live with. So I think that being so salty about it and posting and complaining on the internet is unproductive and just makes the Yu-Gi-Oh! community look really immature. So you can post what you think of this down below, let me know what you think, and peace out YouTube.